representing Extreme Flyers. We're here showing off the Micro Drone 3.0, which is our latest uh, creation that we've had successfully funded uh, using the crowdfunding site Indiegogo. Uh, our initial goal for the crowdfunding project was $75,000, and uh, we managed to do that. And we were given 30 days to do that. This is back in June of, uh, this, of last year. We did that in 10 hours. And uh, so at the end of the 30 days, we got up to about $1.3 million. And then uh, Indiegogo said that we should continue to keep our campaign going live. So we did it for another 30 days. And we managed to get funding up to, uh, I think it was about $2.3 million, I want to say. It, it might have been $1.1 million at 30 days and $2.3 million at the end of the, uh, the 60 days. We've been uh, beyond our wildest dreams, successful. We're, we're very thankful to our backers who uh, uh, have supported us. We are, we, our crowdfunding project has stayed active since then. Indiegogo has a service called In Demand. As of uh, a few days ago, we we're up to $3.2 million. It's still, the campaign is still active. Uh, what we are now in the process of doing is actually fulfilling the, the orders of our backers. Uh, we just began, we've just begun shipping. Uh, we, there's been a bit of delay. We apologize to our backers for that. Uh, but uh, we're now we're not actually actively doing it. One of the number one reasons of, that we've uh, our company's been able to keep the competitive advantage is um, the, the tapping into some technologies that weren't originally uh, designed or weren't originally conceived uh, for the drone usage. Uh, this technology in particular is Google Cardboard. Google Cardboard is all about virtual reality where you can take your smartphone and turn it into a little virtual reality device uh, where you can uh, you can place your, your smartphone into the Google Cardboard system uh, like this and put it right side up. And now you can actually uh, enter into this. What we saw was that uh, first person view flying, it's called FPV, is all about being immersive. It's very similar to, to, uh, Google, to VR, virtual reality. So rather than having it be uh, uh, something that's virtual, it's the actual feed. I can actually demonstrate that for you real quick. Uh, the, I have a 3.0 that's actually already set up, configured, ready to go. How our system works is it, it's, a, it's based upon a Wi-Fi network. The Wi-Fi camera module, which is on the bottom here, turns into a Wi-Fi uh, camera uh, network. And once that's uh, active, then you can just go ahead and tap into it. Let me see here, okay. Uh, exactly. So what happens is it appears as a little Wi-Fi uh, network. So I click into it and I say connect. And now, this what I'm showing you, this is kind of standard. But what I'm going to show you at the end is what's not standard. So in our app, you got learn, fly, review. Learning is all about tutorials, explaining how to use our, our device. Review, this has to do with you can record video onto your smartphone. This is the interesting part, though, is the fly part. So now you can actually start to see the, the video uh, live streaming. Uh, onto your smartphone as it's flying around. Again, that's still somewhat standard. What's not standard though is this usage, where our app will take those two, that one image, make two different images into it, such that you can take into the Google Cardboard. There's a vertical line in the middle. All you have to do is line it up with the vertical line in the Google Cardboard, like so. Close this up, and now you actually have the view uh, coming from the drone. And you can use the, the our included professional 2.4 gigahertz remote control to control it as you see the view coming down. You have a real wide angle view, so it's quite impressive. In fact, if you'd like to, you're welcome to have a, have a quick look. I see there, I'm sure you can see it on the camera. See uh, what, the, uh, what the view is uh, giving. It's, it's really quite clear and it's really uh, quite, quite good. Now, that's based upon Wi-Fi. Uh, one of the things that we're actually looking to do, Wi-Fi is 2.4 gigahertz. We've noticed in some of the shows, uh, you know, in terms of going forward, how we're going to how we're going to improve our technology, is we want to uh, we're looking to to convert it to another system. You can get into uh, what's called Wi-Fi saturation, where you can go to a show like this, or say, for example, consumer electronics show, and there can be so many Wi-Fi access points that it just essentially they all start blocking each other out. And unfortunately, we discovered that's an issue with, with our app as well, where it kind of blocks the successful transmission of the video. So what we're looking to do now is to, uh, to adopt another technology, uh, something based upon, for example, 5.8 gigahertz, where there's not, as, not going to be as much saturation, especially if it's kind of a show. 
uh, where there's you're just, you're just not going to have 5.8 gigahertz uh, access points to such a degree like that. Also, going forward, we've had our company. One of the things that we, we um, do is we get input from our users. Essentially, say users come to us, say, you know, this is a feature that we would find really interesting and practical. You know, what can you do? Can you bring it? Can you build that into your into an upcoming model? Uh, people are very keen to have what's called follow me, where they can actually uh, you can have uh, say like a wristband or maybe your smartphone. And then you can have the, a drone. This already exists. This exists in the big one. I think Air, a company called AirDog was the very first one to come out with the technology. Books would like to be able to have that something, uh, have that, that functionality on a small system. One of the things that generally, in order to have that work, you have to have a GPS system on board of the, the drone. Turns out that there is, there is technology, GPS technology, that exists even at this small of a size. Uh, I say exists. Just because it exists doesn't necessarily mean that's going to be, uh, it's, it's uh, what do you call it, within the reach of the average consumer. There's a system out there that we're aware of that's selling for about $560. Uh, we're actually looking right now of about uh, adopting that for doing waypoint navigation, even on something so small, and then also this follow me kind of feature going forward. Uh, just because that's a just just a, it's going to make it much easier for folks to be able to, to tap into technology who don't really have the time to be able to learn how to fly, and they just want to get some coverage uh, of them riding a bicycle or, or uh, what do you call it, or hiking or doing something else like that. What we're including in our we have a combo pack, and then what we're including is the drone itself. Uh, the, the modular battery, this is something also that we've done in terms of our innovation. We've gotten rid of all loose wires and cables. Now everything's collect, connecting, uh, sliding into place, or like the camera modules, uh, connecting uh, magnetically. We've also made it so it can be reversible. You can do a selfie from a drone with a drony. So the, the battery, the drone, the, the bumper, the Wi-Fi camera module, the holder, for your, uh, sorry, your smartphone, so you can have it on the remote control, including the remote control, as well as the Google Cardboard system uh, and the ba uh, battery recharging system. That's selling for 200 euros. That's our suggested retail price is 200 euros. Uh, that's a year in Europe. In the United States, it'd be about $200 US dollars. I'm around you while you're recording, while you're trying to keep the drone in the center. The reason why we like to do this demonstration is to show the stability. Uh, and the maneuverability of the micro drone. So here we go. We're going to around.